right, are you guys actually ready to play 7th C for the first time? Uh, we, we technically played it for like 30 seconds. <laughs> right. Four weeks ago. <laughs> um, so as a quick reminder, since we haven't really been playing a character a ton, uh, Vinny is playing Sigrether, a mercenary... Oh, you're not a mercenary, a duelist for hire. Cody is a traveling performer Nostroy. Mandy is a former royal guard named Lena, who lived in the town. And Caitlin is playing Cormac, seeker of adventure. And women. You may have heard of him. <laughs> I appreciate that my description was lived in the town. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's well, okay. I said like royal guard, because your thing is like you're the she per- isn't very She isn't very noticeable, so nope. even the DM doesn't <laughs> notice her. <laughs> well, the problem was like... I was gonna say like royal guard because you were like a royal guard before that, like bef- like you're the one who like worked your way up like from like being like just like general guard to like all the way up where everyone kind of just like fell into it. And I'm like, wait, but they were all royal guards. I can't just say like her defining attribute was she was a royal guard. She's great at a lot of things. Really, I am not noticeable. I am a guard like everyone else, but I lived in the town. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mandy. It's okay. It's just funny. All right, so we are going to pick up on the ship where you guys are all discussing why you should return to Oratrios with Catalina. What What is everyone's feelings about this, actually? I should know this going in because I have no idea where everyone stands at all. Shouldn't Shouldn't that be this? I mean, we can do it in character, but if you want... I think want, we like... should do that in character. <laughs> yeah, I just don't want it to be the scene being like... It depends on the pitch. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, I got a pitch. Sorry. So, what are we going to do now that we have that that world's greatest smuggler is not going to deliver food for us anymore? We need to take care of the town somehow, but... Well, Duchess, I think it might be time to take back the throne. I mean, it, you're of age, and the people need you. Think of think of the stories they must be telling about you. It's it's time to to return and be the legend that they I'm sure they've been crafting. Honestly, it might be the best way to pay him back as well. Um, you know, if we actually had like the royal coppers, I think it's what it's called. Anyway, because uh, quite frankly, I don't think we have anything else on the boat that we could pay them with. Yeah, I was... Also, I mean, I would not mind seeing, like, my parents again, or, like, at least my brother, because uh, I don't know how he's doing. Uh, hopefully he didn't... He's not dead. You know? I feel like I might know by that by this point if he was. She puts, like, a hand on your shoulder and, like, awkwardly pats you. <laughs> it's okay. He was not with us, so it's not like he got chased down and didn't make it on the boat with us. Uh, so... I would assume that he is fine. I believe there are um, two issues. The first one being that we owe a dangerous man money because smuggling is hard for a greatest smuggler. Makes no sense. Also, not a problem. If he comes looking for money, sink boat, burn him alive. No more debt. Second, second issue... We are pirates. We are beyond such moral qualms as murdering one murderer. Second issue. If he tries to attack me for reason of being paid less than he wants to do good deed, eh. Anyways, second problem. Town starving. I'm wondering how many people will die in Scuffle for Throne. Is it worth it to give, to feed, you know, half the population that will survive... Petty squabble for royalty, or do we just start smuggling food? I, as much as we've been doing ourselves, I think we're we're not quite at the point of feeding all of Oritrios. But we are at point of conquering Oritrios. That is what we are discussing, though. Not, not conquering like five person army. Boy. If there is someone in that city with sword, we will be conquering, not asking permission. They do not care her name. They do not care her title. If they have more swords than us, they are king. She is the rightful heir. She should be. She is rightful heir of nothing. Her family took city 
from rightful heir who took city from rightful heir with swords. If someone is more armed than us, we are not rightful heir. So you say we just give up? We are four people on both. Wait, five? Wait, one, two, three. Five people, including her. Now, okay, out of character, I have to remember now that there's five of us, not four. Usually there's one less than there actually is. (laughs) We are five people on both with creepy monster in basement, not royalty. I was going to say, I feel like you would be the one to remember the creepy monster in the basement. I'm glad you remembered him. Uh, guys, he has he has a name. Not to anyone in city. To anyone in city, he is creepy monster. And frankly, half of us also seem kind of strange or odd. I do not ins- Speak for yourself. <laughs> I think I you're literally half. talking about yourself here. Certainly I am talking about myself, yes. Yes, you are very odd. And Sigurd. <laughs> Sigurd third. <laughs> I remember names. Iggy, <laughs> how are you feeling about all this? You have not said a word this entire time. I feel like we are all talking over Ziggy you. Ziggy is woman of few words. <laughs> I was mostly listening. Uh, I tend to agree with Nostroy. I think trying to conquer the city would be a futile effort. And as as much as I would relish a big battle like that, I don't think I could... I don't think the five of us could take an entire city. Well, if we go there by ourselves, yes. Surely there's somebody else who wants to put her back on the throne. Um, I also agree about Catalina not... Maybe some people would welcome her back with open arms, but her father was usurped. Who is to say that her father's usurper isn't still there and would attempt on her life again? Most certainly. I mean, would be at many attempts on life. Catalina, do not forget this. You are relatively safe on both. That is why we put you on both. The minute you are back in city. So, not one. Many attempts on life. More attempts on life than you have bodyguards right now, which is four. So, we find the assassin and whoever sent them and put the Duchess back on the throne. I am looking for, I I am speaking of immediate actions. Yes, I understand maybe a long-term plan, something about putting her back on throne. But when we first sail into port, we are going to be asked who we are, where we are going, and then we will have to go somewhere. And people will be starving once we arrive. Right. But, But what are we going to be able to do out here? Nothing. Nothing at all other than find another smuggler willing to smuggle and get him to smuggle food. Or we smuggle food. But if we smuggle food, we have the same problem of getting to port and having to hide. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely, absolutely. And that is possible, right? Smuggling possible. What I am saying is we should set, we should set target lower. Way lower. You on throne. Ten year plan. People not starving. One month plan. You understand? I don't know if I want the throne, but I do want to make sure that People aren't starving? That's kind of more of my concern. Is admirable. Yes, is admirable. Lie about who you are when we are in port. <laughs> yes, I, we've been doing that for three years now. Yes, Trey gives a little thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> so, when when we dock, I first order of business is find a place to live. Yes, um, also I would like to get in contact with my brother. Um... I would think that he would have a little bit of uh, thoughts of kind of like, what's going on, you know? And like, he's my brother. He's going to tell me anything. Uh, Maybe we come up with reason for you to be back in city beyond illegal smuggler with uh, now illegitimate heir to Yes, 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 yes. I'm missing my parents, you know? who? <laughs> come on, we can come up with something. It Maybe not I'm unsure about how I feel about the... Possibility is very bad for you introducing yourself by name as you in city. Okay, I will put a hood on and meet him in a tavern and we will be all sneaky like. We can do this. It's not a big deal. Uh... Later, I don't know how to ask this without possibly offending you, but um, is is your brother, is he a fan of the Duchess? Is, is he going to want... Catalina on the throne. I mean, he's a fan of his job. He wanted to be in the guard. I don't know. All we ever did was fight in, like, the city guard, like, training area. 
I assume that he would want her back on the throne. She, her family is the one who hired us. It's possible I lit him on fire while we were leaving. <laughs> okay, then you don't show up. It's a, good, it's a good plan. Good plan. You go hide in the shadows. I, I don't care. Your is very good at hiding. Okay, yes, I'm sure Nozi is very good at hiding with your little Nostroy fire magic. Nozi. Anyway. Inappropriate way to behave amongst fellow guards. <laughs> anyway, I... If you could just keep... Maybe keep Catalina's whereabouts under wraps I, while you're meeting. I agree to that. Oh, I was I was not planning... I was not planning on bringing her up at all, honestly. Uh, okay, I fair. was just going to be like... Hey, I'm back. What Ooh. is... Shut up, Nosy. What has been happening? I have been gone for a very long time. Quote, quote. I, I would also say... Miss you. Be careful when you come back so that you don't lead him to where we are. Oh, I think Lena can handle, handle herself. Okay, how many years have we been doing this, Gatita? I can do this. I, 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 I believe you can, but my concern is... Most times when we went places, you weren't going, Hey, bro, how's it been? I'm back. You know, now we are, like, usually we all under... He's no problem. If he follows back, we burn the life. Well, I, hopefully I don't... he won't come to that. I, mm, I, 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 will, I will have an elite... I, look, he is a... He is competition, but he is my brother. Right. Family is important in Horatrios, so let's not do... Yeah, if you burn him, I stab you. I don't know what the term for murdering a brother is, but whatever side that is... Fratricide. Fratricide your father? <laughs> no, it's not. No. That's patricide. Patricide. Yeah, patricide. Oh. Learned that word from... Uh, oh, what was his name? The the Noit. The Noit we met. Gosh, does anyone remember his name? I'm beginning to think that we should have... That I should have spent... Either more or less time around this night that we met. Probably more. Was intelligent men. Also a little alarming that fratricide came up in general conversation. Don't just you are noble. Yes. <laughs> People murder for for a crown frequently. <laughs> Is why we exist. Person most likely to murder you. Brother. Uncle. Cousin. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that it's uh, good that I don't have those. Ooh, add uncle. Add uncle to the list of people who might have killed your dad. I'm sorry, but you know, we we need to investigate some people. Uncle side, dad side, brother side. <laughs> it's all the sides. Is why we even here. I like I I agree. We need to figure out who murdered my father so that I don't also get murdered. That is. Very high on my priority list. Like, maybe, probably the highest? Yeah, that's why there is a list. But I think, I think right after that, we need to, like, figure out where we want to stay. Always good to have a home base. Okay, so the new list of things to do. Find a place to live. Get information about what has been going on, ideally from my brother. Then what? I think it'll be kind of informed about what he tells you. Yeah. yeah, I think very much that feed the peasantry. Okay, I think I, that I will agree with Nosy on this one thing that's like month plan. Is maybe meaningless distinctions, but why we not just stay on boat? Boat is portable. If we need to escape, then we are already on boat. Boat has my bed. I'm actually out of game asking why we would not just stay on the boat. Right now, I'm, I'm trying to think of a good reason not Do to. Do you not want us to stay on the boat? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine if you do. So you didn't make like it, it was not a mythical grove equivalent that we would then be ignoring. No, so out of out of game, like taking a step back for a second. I figured like there were places that I had like that you guys developed in the city that I thought you might want to go to, like Hardindios or the town hall or like the catacombs. Like are all like options. Well, the catacombs less so now. <laughs> we don't know that yet. Right. There are options that you guys established in the Companion's Tale that I thought you guys might want to explore. If you want to stay on the boat, that is fine. Like, it was just not what I was expecting. As in, I just didn't think of, like, why would they, like, why move when, you know, I figured you'd want to get off of the boat. And, like, to me, in my head, you guys were sneaking into town and no one knew you were there. Not, we're sailing up to port and saying, I'm Jim, let me in. 
I think what is going to be hard about staying on the boat is there's like customs and having to go back and forth. Like even if we do purchase a spot to park the boat at some point, oh, talk. No. I prefer park. It is a language barrier. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, Great. Now I have to have every character in this stupid city saying, where did you park your boat? Thank you for this. You're welcome. <laughs> um, so there, there is like, once we are in the city, I mean, there's going to be sneaking around probably, no matter where we are going. Um, it's probably going to cost money most places that we would want to stay. My, con- my concern is there's only one way on to the docks. So with that, if we are like ever chased to where we have parked our boat, that w- there won't be an es- escape for us. And I, I know, I know your immediate thought is going to be, we can take the boat and sa- we can take the boat and sail away. But they also have boats that can follow us. It is harder to go to ground, so to speak. I see what mean. Uh, m- maybe okay. My thought initially. We sail boat to city, get out, lie about who we are, hope it has been long enough people forget. Maybe it's bad plan. New plan. We park boat close-ish, maybe on coast a little ways away, and then sneak into city by means of swimming up at night through the water, like around around the wall, into the city that way. That 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 could possibly work. It, it it might not be a bad idea to see what also is in the town and how we are received as immigrants, not ourselves, obviously, but we might have some other options to look at while we are there. Quick out of game question. How far away from we are the town and would be we be aware of the siege to the south? That was going to be my question is, is the city under siege and do we know this? The city is under siege. I feel like we would have heard that from the. I think we would have have to have heard that. that that's what my thought is. I think. I think the siege is known. I think rumors of the monsters are known, but like that's not really believable. Yeah. Yeah. That, I guess that's the question is <laughs> how much of the stuff that we established in Companions Tale can I assume my character knows? <laughs> I think at this point, I think like world events we could assume. I think like the siege, politics, you guys, city. Events. I think the siege is known, and I think the monsters are a rumor that no one really believes. You know, especially with the history of the bogmonger in the town. Well, and we also had a companion who spoke to at least some of us that mentioned, like, monsters coming, so... Right. Um, I think those would be the main things. I, I can't imagine other stuff really being known. That makes sense. Because I don't think you guys would know about the imposter. I don't think, like, a lot of the other stuff is just, like, very internal. And especially with the siege having been going on for a year. Right. I guess that, that was the question I had is we were acting as if we didn't know an imposter was in the crown. So I kind of was running, oh, I guess that's the, I guess we don't know. Well, actually, <laughs> you guys wouldn't know that, I don't think, because the siege has been going on since the imposter's been there. or the um, Yeah, and that that's that's where I was like, I didn't know how much of the stuff we established in the... Commanding style, did we actually know? Yeah, so I think you guys know the siege and the monsters. Okay. Okay. Well, if... From what I remember uh, from, like, war training stuff, I think that, like, obviously the southern border is going to be the worst place that we could try to sneak in, whether we are coming in with a fake name uh, and parking the boat there or sneaking in after parking the boat far off. Because they're going to be paying attention to that southern border with the siege going on. However, perhaps we could go up through the north. Maybe they do not have as many guards up there, especially if that's not, since that's not where the siege is. We could try the fake name. I was going to say compromise. We could stay on the boat for a little bit until we know where we're going to be. I I also worry about the siege and... Our boat, because we needed a smuggler to get in. I don't know if they're going to let us just ride up into the docks. We was thinking about that, and I we was a little worried we might be sunk if we just came into the harbor like everything was fine. I, I like the idea of going north and coming in that way. Revised plan, we park both a little bit away from city, maybe make parts of journey on the foot. To a city wall, swim around, pull ourselves up, see how we are received as people who have snuck into city. 
Sounds like a plan. Torches? I I think that sounds like a good idea if we're all on board. Do mm, should you stay on boat for some time before we if we if we sneak in are immediately killed. I would hate to roll the dice with you on these. <laughs> Out of character, do you want her to stay on the boat? Uh I uh, I am asking kind of backhandedly how possible it is that we whoopsie doodle murder. <laughs> it's mm, I'm not I'm not going to have you whoopsie doodle murder her like, you know. Okay, then never mind, don't worry about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> um I I I don't know. I'm I think that if you guys die in the city and leave me alone to pilot this boat, I I think I'm as good as dead either way. And at a certain point, I don't think it's worthwhile for me to escape if my the rest of what little family I have is dead in you all. And besides, I wouldn't be able to help the city anyway, so... So you're going with us! It is an unfortunate situation, because it's dangerous to leave you behind, but it's also dangerous to bring you with us, because... We don't know the situation inside the city yet. Uh, additional question. What are we doing with the monster in the basement? I believe Friar Lewis should accompany Do we have any baggy clothes and hood to put over him? He wears friar robes already, so put hood. I was more... He looks normal, sort of. I was more concerned about the hood part. We have sex bags of grain or wheat <laughs> put, put on head cut eye hole cut eye hole he, he said sacks not sex oh oh that w- that took me a second <laughs> i thought you and friar lewis were an item now <laughs> no have you seen friar lewis <laughs> I like Friar Lewis, good man. Have you seen Friar Lewis, though? No. <laughs> no. no. Nostra? I don't let's, just, uh, let's just hope that nobody tries to talk to him, because if he talks back at them, it'll be... It'll draw attention for sure. Nostra, I don't know how to put this nicely, but have you seen yourself lately? Oh, good one, Josh's. <laughs> certainly. Certainly. Certainly have. I maintain comment. <laughs> you know, if if you're going to insist on bringing him along, I think that it might be smarter then to split up into at least two groups when we enter the city, uh, because he's almost Whoa. definitely going to get stopped with a giant hood and looking all creepy trying to get in. Oh, 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 photo. Maybe we leave on boat to protect boat. Start story of haunted boat. <laughs> oh. This is good plan. That's not a bad idea, except... Wouldn't that attract unsavory types? I th- I think they have enough... Binge? Oh, sorry, Cormac. I think they already have enough problems with monsters that they're not going to be seeking out more. Oh, that's right! There's like a monster thing! Why would we bring in someone who <laughs> looks like a monster? Fair. Fire Lewis is one of dearest friends. Okay, no, I understand that, but I am saying from a practical point of view, Nosy, (laughs) why would we bring in somebody who looks like a monster when there are rumors of monsters being around the city? Fair. He speaks well about philosophy. He would almost, he would almost certainly be murdered on sight. Exactly. Like, I don't think there's any way we, if we can smuggle him in once we have a base, if we're staying in the city, I think then yes, we would take the risk. But I think until that point, if we're going to be popping in and out to the ship, I do not think it is worth the trouble to risk his life. Friar Lewis may stay on board. Good plan. I am so glad that you speak for him. Friar Lewis tends to make bad decisions. (laughs) He cursed himself with evil book. Now has good legs and squid face. (laughs) I like how we're half an hour in and it's already gotten clown shoes. Excuse me, I think Friar Lewis is the best character in this game. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> is he gonna be the lucy yeah i'm gonna make him be the lucy <laughs> then make somebody do art of squid man <laughs> oh. which uh listener if you're into art please do art of squid man but more importantly our characters our characters are important <laughs> i'm drowning yostra i'm not friar lewis <laughs> good i don't have to do the voice anymore <laughs>
Okay, so I think that we are decided then? We start to head back, I think, right? Does anyone have any else we should plan before we head in? Full sails ahead. Let's do this. All right. And so, once again, the crew sails off. This time for home and whatever waits there. You guys have smooth enough sailing to park. You find a nice little cove that you can hide your small sloop in where it is protected from the weather and not visible or as visible from the ocean and begin your trek back to the city. Is there anything you guys would like to establish about yourselves before we get into the city proper? I don't think so. Don't think there would be. Ooh, um... I'm going to say... Uh... Nyostroy... I think brings, like... Whatever kind of sweets they might have on board... Uh, he brings, like, a bag of, of those. You know, if they, like, had somewhere in their trip found these, like, kind of fun candies, he would bring uh, a bag of candy. Okay. Sigrether has uh, a bunch of runes pre-prepared, like she always does, just on little like little clay tablets that she can kind of okay. use at any time. I like the idea of you having a bag of rocks. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> if spell fails, a steel club. <laughs> 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 oh shoot, that's actually a really cool weapon, isn't it though? What? Like a bag of runes that you hit people with, but then you can also pull out and throw it. That'd be neat. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> it's, not, it's not how runes work, but okay. I like the idea that it's like whatever runes hit them has a different effect on them, you know? <laughs> it's chaos magic. But it's a random effect because you're just like randomly mixing up the runes every time. Yeah, j- j- just for listener and also for Zach, the way the runes work is it doesn't really matter how they're inscribed or carved like she could literally draw it in dirt as long as she can draw it and then break it the breaking it is what releases the magic so the fact that she has a whole bunch prepared doesn't really matter it doesn't actually affect how the game works so it's like a like a glow stick yeah kind of yeah, yeah. <laughs> also using it as a mace would still work you know it would break the right. magic that's out. true yeah, yeah don't think i have enough hero points for that though <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys head back um, you guys are probably about half a day journey away from the town to be safe, but close kind of thing. You know, ba- the balance between like being completely safe and like being inconveniently far away. The roads to town are not very well traveled anymore. No one's really coming this way between the monsters and the siege. But you guys have wraps on you you know you guys look like travelers and are heading to the city um you are able to make it to the gates two guards are posted there um hello state your business uh this is like a this is a a question about like logistics so um this is not atypical if this is the case is only half of the city under siege like so there is some supply chain possible to the city because they have at least one operating gate still? Uh, I would say that you have not seen any supplies, but only half the city is sieged. Okay, so they have a gate that they can open and close and people wouldn't like immediately run in and start stabbing them with sticks. They have a gate they can open and close and you have not seen the southern side of the city to see what that is like, to know gotcha. if they, what they can do down there. And I'm going to, you know, like you have not approached there to know what that situation is like. The Side you approached on, it, there is not a sit- army between you and them, and you can. There is the gate, and it looks to be managed by members of the Oratrios Guard. They have the wheat chaff crest on them, or wheat stalk rather, not chaff. Gotcha. Oh man, that's totally what the bog lurchers do. Like they deface all of them to make it look like chaff instead of like the stalk. Oh, that's a cool idea. That's a cool idea. When he says, state your business, and Yostroy walks out um, and goes, Good sirs, I bring happy news for you in your hard city, your hard put-upon city, you know what I mean. I am a traveling connoisseur of delectable treats from Urusa, and these are my chefs. I have brought for you to sample and potentially purchase... Some of the most delicious candies you have ever had. And Yostroy picks a few of them up and warms them slightly in his hand 
So, you know, if they're like a toffee, they'd be like melt in your mouth and tosses them up into the guards. Simple. See how delicious. Allow us in so we may find someone to purchase these wonderful goods and set up some fresh delights for you and your town. As soon as you know, Stroy uh, started talking, Lena just l- immediately rolls her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Cody. Um, and, that, and I want to roll panache and empathy. Yes, do that. Um... So you need one to succeed on letting them in. There, there's a consequence of them remembering who you are. Um, there's also a consequence of oh, there I had something and it disappeared. I think it's the only consequence they remember you and your party. So uh, okay, that is oh. so that would be oh, two raises no, no, to avoid uh, that. That's t- that's one race for one race to do it, two raises to avoid that, and you have the opportunity of the can they enjoy the food and remember you, but in a good way. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Give me or yeah, so you'd make a good impression, right? Basically, you'll make a good impression, so you can succeed. You can make a good impression, and you can have them keep their mouth shut. I understand. Give me two seconds. Sorry, I doing that thing where I have way too many tabs, and I'm remembering why it is that we print things out. Um. Oh gosh. <laughs> Did you add your plus one die since this is the first time in the scene you're using that skill of empathy? No, does no strike get bonus for doing things? Everyone for the first does. Time? Oh, we, everyone does. Oh, yep. That's what flair is. So the flair is every time the first time you use a skill in a scene, you get a bonus die. Is scene um, encounter okay? I, I also have a quirk that earns a hero point when you use your crowd-pleasing skills for something more than a few coins. Does this constitute more than a few coins? Because I'm actually trying to make their life nicer. I would I would agree. Like, you're... Perfect. And it's like, you're, you're specifically trying to make them friendly to let you in, not to, like, get money out of them, you know? Yep. The point is not earthly gain. Okay, so I have one success, two... I have three successes. Okay. So that would be... A success in two raises, right? Uh, they, 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 the, the game, if we're doing completely game wise, that's that's considered three raises. Like there are no successes; it's just called raises. Is all of them? Oh, okay. So three raises. One of them I use to be let, th- th- basically that they let me in, and then I can use the other two for something else, right? Right. So you and there's only two other things you can use them, for, or unless you wanted to do one of the other options. But so you use one to complete the action, one to avoid the consequence of them recognizing you, and then one to get the bonus that Zach laid out, which if was, you want. So yeah. what I want it to be is that they remember an Arusin. Um, what's the name for like a candy person? What's like the fancy name? For confectioner. Confectioner. Yeah. Uh, so they remember an an Arusin confectioner, but they do not remember my my face, and they don't remember my friends' faces. Okay. So if I walk up, they don't guarantee to remember me, but if I give them candy, they remember that I'm the candy guy. <laughs> <laughs> the candy man. So you give them this candy, and it is delightful. Like, these people have not had steady food in a very long time, and you just gave them not only food, but really tasty food. Maybe not nutritious, but, you know, they have not had delicacies a lot, and they are more than happy to let you in the gates. They you are welcome in this city, good sir, but I do not think you will find anyone to buy your goods. But if you ever have any extra you'd like to unload, we are good for a story or two. Maybe we can find a drink. I do what I do for art, not just for money. Tell me where is nearest place where people might come looking for food like inn or tavern. Place where good people of the earth go. The everyman. <laughs> well, the nearest inn is... Three streets down, take a left. You can't miss it. It is the only building on this side of the city. It is called the... I was going to ask, does it have cool in name? <laughs> like the charging steed or the galloping pony. <laughs> or perhaps the golden wheat. Uh, don't don't forget, the pony can't charge because of the thing I did earlier. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never forgive. <laughs> uh, it is called the... It is called the Lucky Target. It is not the most reputable place, but it is the closest, and that is what you asked for. You are good men and excellent guards. Thank you. I, I would say good, sir. Be careful, though. 
It is. I would keep your friends closer and your coin pouches even closer in this area of town. I have little money and my friends are good with cutlery. <laughs> I pray for your sake that you are not exaggerating. <laughs> I, I like how both Mandy and her character are annoyed. <laughs> that was a character. <laughs> I like how Cody has set himself up as uh, Willy Wonka in this city now. <laughs> He's supposed to be good with kids. He would bring candy with him. Is Willy Wonka good with kids, though? You know, uh, you know Stroy is supposed to teach hard lessons. I think I think Willy Wonka is good with kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they let you into the city. The nearest uh, tavern is our lucky target, which, if you recall, is the place that has been heavily bombarded. <laughs> Just the one place that has been hit yet, yeah. So you guys make your way into this. The the whole, there are more buildings than the guard led you to believe. It is not completely deserted, but there is copious amounts of rubble and destroyed buildings around. Most buildings are like... If standing or half there at this point, there looks to be a lot of broken doors and pillaged. And then, weirdly enough, as you head down this street, there is the lucky target, which seems to be standing tall. There doesn't seem to be any chunks missing. It looks to be structurally sound. There isn't a lot going on. There are people there. You can see some people milling about, but this is probably mid-afternoon. So it is not like dinner time when people would be coming to the tavern. People are still trying to go about their days as best they can. It's a two-story tavern. It has a it has a target with all like arrows like all around the target, none of them having hit it as its like little logo on its plaque. Right. Remind me, it was the lucky target in um a there were it was in a district there where there were like nobles houses, right? It was like in a thieves district. The I note I, Cody the note I have is tavern in the thieves dif- district scavengers. Yeah, that seems right. <clears throat> okay, I And it was the lucky it was the lucky target by virtue of not having been knocked out knocked down yet. <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, I guess what what I had remembered is that um it it was in the area that it was in had become a thieves area because like warehouses and nobles air like homes and things had been yeah, it's the, it's the, it's the, the uh, destruction yes. has basically made it rife for pillaging because it's not like a place that people live anymore. So yes, yes. this whole area, whatever it was, people were... Um, yeah, they scavenged it because it had noble... Yes. Yeah, right. Yes, now it is like a thieves area, but it, it there were like... Rich places there, yeah. Well, I okay. think it would be like a whole area, like, so there would be like nice areas and not nice areas, you know, it's like a larger, it's not just necessarily like one economic district that has been turned into this place, if that makes sense. Let me put it this way, then. Would three years later, would uh, this be surprising to both Catalina and uh, Lena because they would have, like, presumably been around these areas? It does not look like even the same city, so yes. Okay. <laughs> Especially this air, like this area. Okay. Um, I don't know how much Catalina frequented, you know, like this area specifically, but it. Oratrios had a look to it, and this is not it. Yeah. So, question: How does how does money work in this? Like, in terms of our characters buying things and whatever. Uh, you guys have no money. I do. Or <laughs> no money. Except okay. for Lena. You guys can work to get money. That is options you will have in quests. You can do things for money if you would like. You have enough money to get the basics. You ne- don't have to worry about food, water, shelter. Like, you have enough for those things. We have petty cash. <laughs> right. Also, like, you can ha- buy whatever weapon you want because weapons don't matter in this game. Like, if you swing an axe or you swing a sword or you, you s- stab a spear... You roll weaponry and whatever weapon, you know, whatever trait you're using. It's not like I roll an extra d10 for whatever, you know. It's got rid of all the annoying bits of D and D. I like it. Um, uh, as they're walking towards this tavern, Lena like leans over to Catalina. You know, I don't know exactly how much you used to frequent this area, but I'm pretty sure that this tavern used to be where. Senor Carlos Garcia used to be. Do you remember him or his kids in court? Was he the really, the really pompous one that would 
talk for hours and say nothing at all every day. Okay, Gatita, that was like everyone. <laughs> that does not narrow it down at all. He was the one though with that really awful goatee. <gasps> that one, that, that, that was the one I was talking about. He was specifically worse. We are about to go into his home, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I was there once, and I don't think it was that nice, honestly. I mean, this might be a step up for him. Besides, I don't think he had any friends, so there's more people enjoying his company now. <coughs> Brutal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she is a, she is a, she went with you guys when she was 16 years old, and I don't think you guys were the mo- model for not being sassy. <laughs> no, no, I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Lena snorts and like tugs on one of her braids affectionately as they head towards the tavern. All right, the tavern. As I said, it looks well. Now we've established it is a converted home. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, it do- it does not bo- it does not bother me. Uh, it looks like it's kept most of its, op- its opulence. The the walls look very nicely crafted. There is. Inlays on several items. The there are wood carvings that seem uh, maybe a little di- scuffed and dinged here and there, but compared to the rest of the dif- district, it feels like the di- the difference between everything else in the district is very stark. So as you guys head in, it is still mid afternoon. There's a few people milling about. No one really of that you guys recognize, but it's been a while and people look tired and. A little gaunt. Food is becoming scarcer and scarcer in this city. There's a bard in the corner plucking away on a... I'm forgetting the word for, like, old guitar. Like a lute? A lute? Yep, that's it. I could, like, I'm like, what is... What is... It has a word. I do not remember <laughs> what it is. But he's not playing for the thing. He's just, like, plucking away, like, absentmindedly. Is this a tavern or an inn or both? It is a tavern. Okay. I don't think for lack of... You could probably ask for a bed here, but it's in the part of the city that gets bombarded, so I don't think people stay here longer than they really need to. Gotcha. Like, people come here, like, as a way to prove that they're not afraid. Most people wouldn't want to sleep here, kind of thing. Okay. That does not mean you can't, though. Uh, Lena, how how are you proposing to uh, find Miguel? Uh... I mean, I figured there's there's got to be a way to uh, send messages still through either city guard, although that might draw too much attention. We could. Oh, you're you not- just go to your parents' home. I was actually just about to say that. Uh, I could always see if my parents could send him a little note saying that they would like to see him, and then surprise, here I am. Is there maybe, um, yes, note, is there a note that could be secret to indicate you, like, nickname from past, thing you call each other, reference only brother would get? No, Z, I have nicknames for everyone. Perfect. Because I, uh... Gelly I could, would love to hear from me. I bet I could find someone to send message. Very discreet, no one ever bothers them. How do you have a way to send messages? Uh, Nyostroy rattles his bag of candy and says, The street urchins, of course. <laughs> okay, they will do anything for good. sweets and money. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad idea, actually. It's a very good idea. It's how I made money when child. <laughs> I also read many notes, learned much gossip. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that might be the problem, though. This is why note must be secret. Do not say, is Magdalena, I am in city. Say, is, I don't, nickname from past of Magdalena. Meet me at inn that has yet to be hit with rock, you know. Nobody else calls him Gelly. What are you not, are you right. not paying attention to this? I you will just write his name Gelly. You did not say Gelly. <laughs> <laughs> write note to Gelly. Gelly will get it. Well, work your logic. Uh, no story. Okay, but the question: Do I do I do we want him to come here, and like, or I don't know? Is we don't know anywhere else around here. I right could now ask that's street still urchins where a safe place to meet is. I mean, I don't think this is safe per se, but I don't think it's dangerous from over from people overhearing. This seems to be in the bad part of town, so I don't think we have to worry about being shamed. Precious brother might be mugged. 
would be a little bit funny. Right? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit funny. I'm not being too mean. Like, not murder, just mugged. Isn't he a city guard? I think he would have no problem defending himself. N- Nostra, it, w- it would not be funny. Because then Lena would need to go out and get mugged even harder. Because she would want to prove that she's better at being mugged than him. <laughs> Or rescue him from being Okay, mugged. yeah, no, I would, would want to funny. rescue him. Thank you very much. <laughs> I might be able to get street urchins to attempt to mug no, him. No, don't then you do can that. Rescue. I just okay. want to speak to him. Okay, okay, okay. That was too far. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, I'm Gully. I lost one gold. Oh, look, I'm Lena. I lost two gold. <laughs> uh, that is not being better than him, Gatita. <laughs> Lena is, Lena pulls out like, She has a, I guess I should have established this. Uh, she has a pack with at least a few notebooks in there, pulls one out, rips out a piece of paper and writes, Gelly, I heard that the lucky target is the place to be and, uh, rolls it up. Okay, nosy, shake your, shake your bag of candy. I do it with more artistry than this. I do not simply shake bag of candy, but... Sure, sure. <laughs> Anyways, what is brother's full name? He is master artist. He does it for the art, not for the money. I'm losing thing on this deal. Anyways, uh, what is brother's full name? It, it's Miguel Rosero. I don't know what his rank Got is it. anymore. I, I, I definitely knew your last name before this point and was not asking for you to in character specify full name. Anyways... Uh, Nyostre, uh, goes out and finds, like, an alley where he guesses there will be rap scallions about. And even if he doesn't see any, he, like, sits down on a barrel and then, uh, snaps his finger and makes, like, a little, like, fennec fox start leaping from crate to crate to crate and kind of, like, chittering and dancing. And, uh, he just starts to, like, narrate... Oh, his story of the clever fox. The clever fox always knew ways through the most dangerous parts of the forest. Could find his way into any space. And the little fox, like, dances up onto buildings and, like, scurries in and out of windows. Always could find ways to sneak past guards or into places they should not be. Clever little fox knew that foxes, they could get where they were not meant to, often got rewards. And he shakes the bags. Any foxes around? Um, you easily enough find, like, attract a few children who are not jaded enough to be disinterested in a magic jumping fox of fire. He, like, makes the fox jump onto their shoulders and kind of, like, nip at them playfully. It, like, doesn't hurt, but it's just, like, a little, like, pinch as it, like, nips at their ears and they kind of, like, swat at it, you know? He holds up the letter and goes, Is letter for Miguel Rosmo... Rosero. Rosero. Uh, is... Guard, I believe, was royal guard. Bring to him. Tell him is from friend. Say nothing else. Do not be caught. And uh, he holds up like two of the candies and says, two in advance, two when you return. Extra one, if you bring any information about who he associates with, what part of city he lives in, and how he treats you. Does he treat you well? Does he treat you poorly? Is important information. Make me a roll. Uh, well, I don't think I get the bonus dice because I'm guessing this is basically going to be empathy and, uh... You could do perform if you wanted. Uh, shoot, is that a separate skill? Yep, use perform when you're trying to captivate an audience with your showmanship. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll take, I'll, I'll say this was kind of performier in a way, in a way that the other one wasn't. Uh, wow, not as good. One, two, so two raises. How many dice do you have left over? Wow. Well, yeah, I have three dice left over, totaling to seven. I will, I'll, I'll, if you want, I'll buy one of your dice to give you an extra hero point. Uh, okay. That also gives me a danger point, though, so. I'm cool with that. Alrighty, so you have two hero points now. You had two, you said? Yeah. So one succeeds. You can have them bring you back information. Or you can have them not read the letter. I want them to bring me back information. I think we established the letter is safe. Okay. Or, sorry. You can have them bring back information, or you can have them not give out information. I'm fine with them saying anything that's gone on here. Okay. Okay. 
That, that's fine. I just wa- wanted to be clear. They about can what- narc. It's all right. Yeah. I think we've been discreet. Right. I, I wanted to let you know that like they're not following all your instructions so that you don't hear about it later and be like, wait a second. Yeah, they're rapscallions. I, I assume these are not the most credible things. Okay. So you, you, you wait a, a while because you want them to be discreet with it. Eventually, the, the kids come back. We are, we are ready for more of our candy. We have delivered your letter to Senor Miguel Rosero. He lives on the palace grounds as is proper for a royal guard. He is a royal guard under Senor Santiago. He has been there a while, I guess, because you have to be to be a royal guard. I don't know of anyone who is just like walks in and becomes a royal guard. I thought you had to work all the way up. Um, and, yeah, I don't... Can I have more candy? Is is there something else you want to know? You have not answered the most important question. How did he treat you? How does he behave? I mean, he seemed rather surprised and then, like, not in a mean way, but just kind of waved his hand for us to leave. Mm. Like, just like, because he was shocked, I think. Typical. Did the letter say something important? Oh, he, he did... Oh. He didn't, we didn't, we didn't say anything. You said to be quiet, so we did not tell him that a nice man gave us candy. We, did, we, did, that's something we didn't do. Did he ask you if a nice man gave you candy? You are not in trouble if he did ask this question. He, he, he didn't ask anything. He's just like, oh, this letter is nice. I don't want to know at all where it comes from. <laughs> he knows, Troy looks at them and goes, liars are sometimes burned by foxes. <laughs> okay, okay, we might have, we might have told them that a nice man gave us candy to deliver this note. This is okay. And that you have a cool eye-, eye patch and had a nice fox friend. I think we are going to name him Mozilla. He's fine. Mozilla, you will see again anyways. And then he throws them like one extra candy than he said he would. Be on your way. I want to see you no more. I will call you if I need you. Mozilla will find you. <laughs> <laughs> they scamper off. <laughs> it's a low-hanging fruit of a joke, but I like it. <laughs> So you guys wait. Mandy, what does your brother look like? He's very handsome. He got all the looks. Um, so I would say, like, are you laughing? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say something mean. It's fine. What were you going to say? <laughs> I was going to say on a Dilf scale, where does he land? <laughs> does he have a salt and pepper beard? <laughs> it's not that I don't old, think he's that he? old. Yeah. How, how old are they? Caitlin, do you think I'm old? I have gray in my beard. <laughs> yeah, that's not salt and pepper, though. <laughs> I wouldn't say you have salt and pepper, though. Give it five years. <laughs> Which is the age Miguel is. I don't remember. How old did I say I was? I thought you were like 34. Uh, yeah, something like that. So we're like, so we're mid-30s. So I, I guess he could have some gray. Yeah, he could have a little bit of gray, but he's like, so he, he's obviously the better looking of the two of us. I would say he's like pretty tan he's got like the chiseled jaw he's got like really uh dark black hair um so like when you do see the the gray and the white it's like it's almost like i don't want to say like highlights but you know it's like it looks really like regal tall you know all the ladies love him i was thinking he has the doctor strange hair where it's just like only gray like on the sides (laughs) you know it's like very um attractive graying you know it's like not salt and pepper it's just like very like oh his so- like the sides of his hair is like a little bit gray and i'm like oh okay this looks nice very symmetrical yeah i'm yeah i just my my description of him was just he's the better looking twin all right just talking about what he looks like you know he's grinding his teeth <laughs> you just see <laughs> hate blooming on his face <laughs> before uh Gooly joins us um gilly should we get G- gilly Sorry, sorry. Gilly. Before Gilly joins us, Gilly Gooly. <laughs> that is a good one. I'll have to start calling Before him Gilly. Before Gilly joins, his name but is Miguel. I don't Miguel. think he'll understand that. <laughs> Would be respectful to call him Miguel. He was also guard. <laughs> Gilly will be fine. If we're going to be honest, Nostra, I forgot his name was Miguel because she only calls him Gilly. And I. It's important for you as potential leader of guards to show them proper respect to ensure that they do not stab you in the back. He carries sword. He is good at killing. <laughs> I mean, so are all of you, and... You can show someone respect while calling them a uh, a nickname. There is nothing wrong with that. More importantly, what did it say? I mean, he did not send a letter back. I think it's more, should we not all sit with 
Lena and like maybe spread out a little bit so that he doesn't know I'm here? I, I assumed that was the plan. Honestly, I thought I was going to be by myself, so... Is better idea. I think she should be by herself, and certainly if... You're anywhere with it, I saw shot should have bag on hand. <laughs> or hood, you know, whatever. Hey, that 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 is rude. I am not fi- I am not Friar Lewis. I do not need bag with holes cut out. Oh no, but there are multiple rooms here on this first floor. There's also a second floor if you want to go up there. <gasps> Maybe I should get an eye patch. I could, we could be, we could be we could be buddies, Nostra. Okay, actually Nostra, uh what quarterback said is the more important thing. Did they say that he was coming? Did he have a response? They told him strange man with eye patch gave them sweets to give letter. He seemed indifferent to children, which is a thing that we now know about your brother. I think with this, Miguel knows that Nostra is here too, so I think having Nostra with Lena is not a bad idea, so that she has backup in case... Uh, we is fine, I will go upstairs with you. He is indifferent to two children. <laughs> yes, please. I, no, 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 Stry, I, th- I think you should stay. I don't want to leave Lena alone. I, I n- no, it's all right. I'm going to put a hood over my head and do, like, the creepy thing. I like, will sit in back table with my it. back turned, yes, but the, looking we don't, in mirror. <laughs> we, don't know, we, we don't know where Gully stands with you anymore. G- Gilly. <laughs> M- Miguel Gully. <laughs> this is hard for me. No one has ever... Butchered the name Miguel like this in front of me. <laughs> so I apologize. Yostri huffily sits at a table very far away and tries not to seem noticeable. He's like <laughs> leaning back in shadows a la Aragorn. <laughs> <laughs> I think Nostra should be here just in case things, in case he was followed or you need help for some reason. I don't want you in danger. Lena, I, Lena, I if don't brother like- is bad, we'll burn down building and we'll make escape. Yes, get it. Yes, Lena, Lena, I don't have much family left, and I consider you part of that. So please, please let me keep you safe in the only way I can. No, that is fine. I, I, I think this is a little bit of, a, of an overreaction. Like I said, this is my brother. He's my twin. I, I'm not saying he's fu- I'm pretty sure he's going to be totally fine. But if you guys want to keep watch, I am not going to say no. I am certainly not going anywhere. <laughs> You're just gonna like stand <laughs> in the middle of the room. <laughs> I actually love that idea. No, I will. I will. I will sit at the table in the corner, and I'll get. I'll get the beer and blend in. But be 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 ready to act in case something happens. You sit at a different table and lo- do the Aragorn move. <laughs> Each of you are in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> Don't just the two of us can go to the second story and keep watch. I do think that Gatita should be up on the second story. Yes, I agree. I am not going to be here. So we will go. You all be safe. Nostra, send the fox thing up before you burn down the building if that happens so we know to jump out the window. Was joking about burning down the building. <laughs> there are many people in the building. <laughs> I, I mean, it is not the first never time. Tell. <laughs> it is not the first time you have burned down buildings, so. It's time for you to go upstairs. <laughs> I'm, don't you agree, Cormac? <laughs> like, as, as a walk observes. I mean, he's burned down buildings before, and he said he was joking before he did that. Oh, I'm, I, oh I'm definitely on your side. <laughs> as soon as she leaves, uh, Nyostra leads down to Magdalene and goes, He's trying to protect us now. He's a little bit funny. <laughs> We are bodyguards. <laughs> our job is to be put in danger. We keep her safe. Uh, she elbows him in the chest. Yes, but don't tell her that. It's good habit for child, I think, to show empathy. Anyways, I go sit in corner. <laughs> Hoot like owl if brother evil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, do what? Hoot like an owl? Do not know how to hoot like owls. <laughs> No, so your accent sometimes is very, very strong, and it's really difficult to understand Hoot, you. Hoot, make owl noise. Hoot, <laughs> like owl. <laughs> make noise like owl makes. <laughs> Go sit in your corner. Maybe pigeon sounds, anyways. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's such a quotable quote. <laughs> so, a few, a while passes. It is now in the evening. There are more people in the tavern. It is not roaring, but not empty. So, it, like, most tables are filled with a few people. 
it is lively enough that you can have a conversation without being overheard. Everything's kept to kind of a dull roar. You kind of get the feeling that this is, as we have described it before, a place to, like, prove you're not afraid of the siege. The building's still standing. It hasn't fallen. There hasn't... Currently, there isn't any bombarding happening, but that does not mean it couldn't happen at any moment. After a while, you do see a very fine-looking man in the Royal Guard uniform step through. He looks very attractive. He is very... From what you can tell of him, he looks fit and well-trained. He keeps a rapier at his side. He has a mustache, a thinner mustache, that looks a little bit like he's trying. Like he's trying too hard. Like it does not look good. Like that is the one thing on him that does not look great. But <laughs> The one downside. <laughs> Bad like mustache. 16 year old. <laughs> and he walks in and he goes, Magdalena, is that you? Hey Wanderers, thanks for listening. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Corsairs of Castile. This game is being run in the 7th C 2nd Edition system. If you want to hear more content from the Wandering Gamer Network, you can check us out at the Wandering Gamer Network website. We stream on Twitch with the username wandering underscore gamers, and you can follow us on Twitter at the WGN Podcast. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. All information about the music used can be found in the episode description. Until next time, wherever you wander, may you find your way home.